Alrighty. Am I on? Yep. All right. Uh, so my name's Mike, and uh, this is our van tour. So this is a Type Two ambulance made by Ford, and uh, then uh, turned into an ambulance by Leader. It's a uh, Ford E350 with a 7.3 liter diesel engine. Uh, our lift here, you can see we uh, converted it to four wheel drive. Uh, the kit to make this is created by U-Joint Off-Road and the great guys over at Diesel Tech in San Jacinto uh, did all of the, uh, the axle rebuild and the actual installation of the kit. So we have 4.1 gears on these and a limited slip differential up front. We put some uh, about 34 inch tires and they're metric size, uh, which have just been fantastic. We've been able to get in and out of uh, places that, that I, I can't imagine anything anything larger than this going. Uh, and it's, it's been pretty wonderful. The paint job on here is something we did ourselves. This is a bed liner product by a company called U-Paul. It's called Raptor Liner. And uh, this stuff is indestructible, indestructible. We had an old uh, EKG kind of sign on the uh, the previous paint job that was all oxidized, and uh, we wanted to to do something that was a little more uh, a little more durable and something that we could install ourselves. And so we sprayed this this whole thing on. Uh, it took about two weekends. Uh, you can see a couple of vestiges here of uh, when this used to be an ambulance. We have some shore power here that allows us to charge our our system uh, from. From normal house, uh, we also have a battery box, and this this uh, has three large, uh, large deep cycle batteries, uh, AGMs that well, we purchased, and this this fuels our entire uh, rear electrical system. We have a battery isolator so that it can get charged by the dual inverters up front. We also have 400 watts of solar on top. Can't really see from here. Uh, that keeps us charged all day long. Uh, you can see this window. This is a window that we in installed. It was quite a project cutting into the side of our uh, our <laughs> van, uh, but it worked really well. It's actually a, a Ford window that's uh, designed to go in the barn doors on the opposite side. Come around here, uh, we can see we have a couple vents. Uh, this one's just an air vent. Uh, we have a similar, actually an identical one up front that's for our propane. And then here in the rear, uh, we have uh, access to our gear so you can see here we have this entire compartment which has also been raptor lined so that we can hose it out and we keep muddy boots and all sorts of other junk in there uh, tire chains etc and uh, then we keep our climbing gear in here so we have this very large drawer with these uh, big rails that are rated for about 500 pounds and uh, this guy uh, holds almost everything that we need for uh, for climbing a bunch of ropes all our trad gear, helmets, everything. Some of our stuff's up front right now, actually. Otherwise, it would be just completely full. Uh, you can see here we have our mattress. Uh, we'll, we'll get into this a little bit more in, inside, but uh, this is kind of where we just push all of our bedroll uh, when we're not using it. And uh, these are cushions that, that we have. They're sectional, and uh, so we can actually lift these up. And we have tabs for compartments like this. We'll show this one. It's like our tab has been pulled down. We'll have to access that from the other side. Uh, this is the back of our. This is it. Our currently, we're in a uh, bench seat mode, and this is the bench seat that also extends further as our the rest of our bed. If you want to switch places with me here, uh, you can see we do have a closet. And this includes all the uh, full-length stuff, so it can hang all our uh, puffy jackets without getting smushed. Here on the, uh, the right side, you can see we have an ARB uh, canopy. Uh, the the roof is all fiberglass, and so in order to attach it, we had to weld some custom little aluminum brackets that are then adhered to the fiberglass with a bunch of 3M's VHB tape, which is uh, extremely strong and uh, 
should stay on the stay attached to the roof better than, than any kind of rivets that we would have used or uh, even bolts through the fiberglass. Up front, or you can see we have a, a high lift that is a gift from a good friend of mine. And uh, if you look up there, we have a light bar and a bunch of antenna. Uh, we have our normal radio, our CB radio, which is the big one uh, to the right. And we have a, uh, a Wi-Fi extender that gives us a, a high boost Wi-Fi uh, to you know, be able to pick up free Wi-Fi when we're on a street. And then a cellular extender, which has proven to be extremely valuable. All right, I think Emily's going to show us inside here. You keep going. Okay. All right. So inside, uh, one of the first things uh, you see up here is we have a fridge. This is actually uh, a marine fridge by Engel. It's designed for sailboats. So you drop it in, and uh, even if it's tilted left and right or whatever, it uh, uh, nothing falls out of it. Here. Uh, you notice that uh, we mounted the compressor for that very far away from it. So we have this entire long drawer here that uh, we can use to keep all of our um, uh, backpacks and you know, trekking poles and some of our longer stuff. Here inside the van, we, we have it in our, our bench seat configuration. And so we have uh, right here, we have uh, our, our seat and we actually have seat belts that we uh, took out from when it used to be an ambulance so I can go ahead and sit in right like this we have all of our uh, cooking stuff in these cabinets this is part of uh, what used to be the ambulance so these are uh, just indestructible these are commercial grade built for lots of abuse uh, we have managed to fit just about all of our uh, cooking gear and pantry stuff in these and uh, a lot of our uh, climbing guidebooks and some cards up there. Uh, as far as our clothing goes, we have these drawers here. And so you can see I have this one and Emily has this other one. The other thing about these drawers is uh, in addition to the rails, they uh, slide on the bottom with uh, felt slides and what this lets us do is really put a lot of pressure down there since they're uh, transferred directly to the floor and that's important because they are actually the supports for our uh, bed frame so when we fold this forward pull these out Now, this is our bed platform. When we put the cushions down and uh, put the sheets on, uh, we have a bed that's about the size of a queen. It's a little bit shorter, uh, but about the same width if you don't include the little notch that's uh, taken up by the, the sink here. Uh, this sink uh, is actually not a, not a sink. It's actually a steam pan that we drilled out uh, in order to use as a sink because it's, uh, you know, uh, kitchen quality uh, <laughs> uh, stainless steel and it was the perfect dimensions and so this has been a, a great great little thing uh, we have a 20 gallon tank actually 19 gallon tank under the right frame rail uh, right on, under here which uh, helps balance out the weight from the battery box on the left uh, you can see here it's our little portal into the cab where we have quick access to where we, we actually keep a lot of our uh, dirty clothes and uh, additional access to our uh, bags. And then here's where we keep a lot of other stuff, some of our uh, like little miscellaneous electronics and towels. And then when we want to go up front, uh, we can go in and out if we need to be stealth camping for whatever reason. It's really nice because we can uh, you know, just go up front and drive away in the morning. Uh, we don't have to stealth camp very often, but uh, when we do, this is a very important feature here.
So up here we did add, uh, we got a, a more up-to-date little center console than what came in the ambulance. Uh, but uh, other than that, we haven't really changed too much. We've rewired everything so that they do new things, but all the sw uh, switches are original. And so we have our uh, uh, very high-powered off-road light up here. We have uh, left, rear, and right floodlights, which are incredibly valuable for uh, looking for campsites and just actually being outside. Uh, they We've replaced all the actual bulbs uh, with LEDs from halogens, uh, which are, are really awesome. We have a rear uh, uh, HVAC unit, so heat and uh, air conditioning. And uh, then this guy is actually a, 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 this flips a solenoid, which connects our rear house electrical system to our front one. And this allows us essentially to jumpstart our car battery from our uh, solar panels and uh, rear battery. And this is a really cool thing to have. We've definitely used this a couple times. Other than that, we have a uh, new stereo, new speakers everywhere, a little subwoofer under the, uh, the passenger seat, and uh, of course, a little diesel tuner, which gives us uh, some additional uh, juice and also gives us insight into all of the temperatures and everything else that's going on inside the engine. Uh, yeah, I think that's just about it. Can't think of anything else. Sweet.